Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to follow up starting to build the drill press um, table. So uh, we're going to start with the base today. And uh, here, as you can see, I have it cut out. I've got the, the feet printed out of TPU. And I'm going to kind of move this out of the way and show this to you. So uh, in short, we, we've pocketed out these pieces here. And what will happen is this is the bottom. Our bolts and washers will sit in here. They'll come through here into the base. So uh, we'll also band the um, edges with this mill mine <clears throat> to finish it off like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, let's take a look, quick look at this being CNC'd out in a time lapse. And then I'll come back and I'll start showing the pieces as they come together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start banding this. Uh, in short, you need a heat gun, you need the banding obviously, and I use this handy dandy little roller. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so here we are. We got the sides banded as you saw in the time lapse. Again, we use the heat gun and the roller to uh, smooth it down. Getting the round edges is a little bit uh, tricky sometimes. Uh, and then one of the things is I put the seam here in the back so you don't see it because you'll just see the front. I got a little here, I got to get off with alcohol. But uh, again, it's got a nice forward appeal and it'll sit here. So the, the next piece is what we're going to do is we're going to place the TPU rubber feet. Now I printed these a little bit large um, and when I designed this I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do the feet and uh, I decided a little bit later this is how I was going to do it. So uh, open up the screw box here <clears throat> and then I've got these these smaller screws with the big heads that I'm going to use and they've got um, enough shank on their head to where uh, I'm sorry I'm a little bit off camera there but you'll see see what I'm doing so as I come back around so in short what I'm going to do is I'm just screwing these down I'm centering them to the corners and um, I don't want to pull too hard on the TPU. And let's see, so you can kind of see the other one. So I'm doing it. The camera setup here, sorry, is not the best. Um, so again, just putting these to the edge. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention, the bases are, all the stuff I'm done has been made out of mill mine. I've got a bunch of it, um, and it's great stuff to work with for this kind of project. It's, um, it, it actually sticks together pretty good. It cuts great on the CNC, and so now you can kind of see if I get this out of the way and maybe move this out. And move this back in the frame. So this now sits very nice. So I've got vibration dampening here. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll bolt this up to the um, up to the drill press. And the drill press will now sit on top of this, this base if I keep getting it into frame. So let's go ahead and mount this on the drill press. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt these bottom feet in. Um, they're a quarter inch bolt and they got the hex nut in the end and then so I'm just going to tighten them on 
Actually, I'm going to put this other one in so it keeps it square. And uh, use two washers to space this out. And I'll show you how it goes in the front, or the top, I should say. Um, uh, once I get this set up in the bottom, because I'm putting a washer and a lock nut on the top, and I use a ratchet to kind of tighten every, keep everything going together. If I keep this on here. So I have to snug these up a bit. So I'm going to turn you on to time lapse. Okay, so here we are. We've got this bolted down. Hopefully it's somewhat square. And set this up here. And we now have good... Now, one of the things I did... Looks like I need to square it up a little bit back this way. Because I moved it. It needs to come this way a little bit more. So I'll make that adjustment a little bit. But one of the pieces that I wanted to, to see is... So these are locking nuts. And I've moved it more towards, I've got more of a gap towards the back. Uh, so if I push against the front of the machine, I'm pushing against the front of the machine, you just can't see it. Um, it, it's, it's, it gives it some additional stability. So like I say, I'm going to adjust these so I can slide this over. I've got enough room to make this center. So I left some playroom in here. But you kind of see how this comes together. You kind of see how all this is banded up and how this sets up. So I'm going to make the adjustment, then we'll come back and take a quick look. Okay, so we're back. I've got this all squared up just so you can see that. So we have 30 millimeters on each side, so I'm good to go. Got a nice balance. Um, so, anyways, this is the first part of the build, and uh, I'm really happy with the way the base turned out. So, uh, uh, actually, even if you just do the base, I think it's probably worthwhile. So it's got some nice stability, because I don't know if you can see I'm pushing against it. It's... Um, you know, if I'm, I'm pushing it against the stock, it actually sits very well. And it's got vibration dampening now in the pads here. So all in all, I think that piece came out pretty good. So uh, in the next build, we'll be tackling the table. So uh, building the table piece, which is, uh, you know, obviously far more complicated than this piece. So uh, stay tuned for that episode. Hey, if you're finding this build interesting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. And we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.